Okay, as bad as I hate to suggest that anyone continue to use Microsoft Windows Vista, it is the worst operating system that Microsoft certainly ever released, and definitely one of, if not the worst, ever released uh, by any company. But I uh, understand that there are a lot of people who have it, and it works okay for them for most things and they're trying to get some more life out of it so I'm going to show you how to optimize uh, Windows Vista and change a few settings that should help performance quite a bit with Cricut Design Space and you should see some benefit with everything else that you use on your computer as well hopefully this will reduce the likelihood that you'll get some of the uh, flash plug-in crash errors and things like that uh, typically Windows Vista causes your hard drive to run a lot so if you look at the little light on your computer that indicates your hard drive is running, you probably see it flickering constantly when you aren't even doing anything with Windows Vista. So I'm going to show you a few things you can change and how to enhance the performance. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Start. And in this little search box, we're going to type the word Run, R-U-N. And you should get the Run program to pop up and you click on that. And you can also get to that by pressing the Windows key plus the R key as in run. And when you get this box, I want you to type in services.msc. And you will need uh, probably be prompted for permission to run this. And you can click continue. And you will get the services dialog box window. And if you these things should be in alphabetical order. If not, you can click the name column to sort them. And I want you to scroll down to the S's, and I want you to look for a service called Superfetch. And if you double click on that, in the startup type, you can set this to disabled, and then also click the stop button, and click OK. You do not really need this. It is there to try to predict how you use your computer and it causes the hard drive to run a lot unnecessarily. So it is safe to disable that. And next we're going to close the services box. The next thing we're going to do is click on start and we're going to click on computer. And then we're going to right click on your C drive and click on properties. And we're going to uncheck this box that says index this drive for faster searching. Next we're going to click on the tools tab. We're going to click on defragment now, and again we have to allow permissions. And we're going to uncheck this box that says run on a schedule, and click OK. That defragments your hard drive, which is not really necessary that much these days, especially with larger hard drives we have. And again, it causes your hard drive to run unnecessarily along with that index box that we unchecked on the first screen. And click OK, and here when you get the confirmation we want to change this to apply to see only and you will be prompted to provide administrator permissions simply click continue and click continue again and now we can close the my computer window and we're going to click on start and go to control panel and we're going to open up system and you want to look for the amount of memory that you have for example, this system has 4 gigabytes. So document or remember how much memory you have, whether it's 2 gigabytes, 4 gig gigabytes, or whatever that amount is. And then we're going to go to the Advanced System Settings and click Continue to allow the permissions. And we're going to go to the Advanced tab and go to the Performance section and click on Settings. And we're going to click on the Advanced tab and come down to the Virtual Memory section and click the Change button. We're going to uncheck the automatic uh, manage selection. We're going to set it on custom size. And we're going to set both of these to double the amount of memory you have. So if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM, you're going to set this to 8,000, which is 8 gigabytes. And we're going to do the same thing for the maximum. The minimum maximum, we can set it to the same. And just set it to double the amount of memory you have. You have if you have two gigabytes, you're going to set it to four thousand. If you have eight gigabytes, you're going to set it to sixteen thousand. And click the OK button, and click OK, and click OK, and you'll be prompted to restart your computer, and it's safe to do so.
and when your system comes back up you should see a significant performance increase uh, simply due to the reduced hard drive activity and uh, hopefully that will help you get a little bit more life out of your system while you plan an upgrade to replace your computer rather than being forced to upgrade now there are a lot of systems that were purchased with Windows Vista on them and especially ones who might have been purchased towards the end of uh, the release of Windows Vista that could have very adequate hardware to run Windows 7, 8, or even Windows 10. So uh, I would you know, in, in encourage you to investigate your hardware and take a look at what you have and uh, determine whether or not it can be upgraded to Windows 8 or Windows 10 and uh, take it from there. But hopefully this will help you out a little bit and help you get by until you can plan that upgrade rather than being forced to do it. If you're interested in my support services or consulting services, please visit my website at www.troyyoung.com for most current pricing information. Additionally, you can go to patreon.com slash troyyoung to help support my channel. Hopefully my video has been helpful to you. If it has been, please subscribe to my channel and by all means, please share my videos.